Hello, my name is John and I'm a nerd. Well, I finally had the opportunity to watch The Tomorrow War with Chris Pratt and Yvonne Stravit. <laughs> I'm going to say this wrong. Stravinsky? Let me double check the spelling on that. Stra Stravsky. Stravsky, or something like that. I apologize. I totally slaughtered that. Um, got a chance to watch it. And I have to say, it's one of the better movies I've watched in a while. Uh, it's gotten a lot of negative press for some reason, and a lot of people have liked it. So there's been very mixed reviews back and forth. But personally, I really liked it. I thought Chris Pratt was, he might not be an Academy Award winning actor, but he pulled off the part just fine, I thought, especially his relationships with his wife and his child. Things that I really appreciated about this movie is it really showed what a real family looks like. Um, I mean, there's all kinds of ways to do family, I. but it's the relationships that they show in this are very real. The uh, little girl that played um, uh, Forrester uh, is the name of Chris Pratt's, char Chris Pratt's character. And the uh, little girl that played the part uh, of his daughter did really well. The opening of the movie puts you right into... I'm not going to get into too much spoiler because um, I don't want you to... I want you to see it and enjoy the story. Um, but it opens up with a little bit of action and then it puts you into this family. And you get to see... I like it when a movie takes time to introduce you to a character or a set of characters and get you to really understand who they are and relate to them, and so you end up having a relationship with them uh, yourself and feel like you understand these people and kind of know them and want to know more about them. And so the, f the film actually takes the time to do that at the beginning, and uh, that doesn't mean that there's not action, because this has plenty of action. Uh, the effects are well done. The action is well done. Um, the concept, the time, the time travel concept that's involved in this, I think is absolutely fascinating. I've never seen it before. That which reminds me, I should also mention mention that uh, when I first saw the title of this movie, The Tomorrow War, I was sure I had seen a book by that title. Um, and there is, there is a book by that title. But I, if this movie is based on that book. It's very, very loosely based on it. So if you've read the book and you're expecting this to be like the book, it's not going to be because uh, it's not what it is. Um, there are some there are some certain principles that are involved in this story that kind of match the book a bit. Um, but it also takes a, some very huge liberties with it. Uh, that being said, um, I have not read the book myself. I've just read a synopsis. Um, but having watched the movie, I really enjoyed it, and I might actually go see if I can find that book and give it a read, because I do like reading books. I might actually review some books uh, at some point. I was very pleasantly... Uh, per, uh, I was very pleased with all of the acting. I thought all of it was really good. Again, Chris Pratt might be the weakest part of it in his acting, but he pulled off... Uh, it, the, the really tender parts with the kids he pulled off very really well um, so I might be being a little bit hard on him uh, I certainly think he's better than I I'm not a huge fan of uh, Johnson the rock I don't believe he's that great of an actor he picks good movies and I think that's and he can kind of say lines um, there's not much real emotion involved in anything <laughs> other than testosterone, um, from anything I've seen. But uh, I would say that uh, Chris Pratt did at least better than I would expect from Dwayne Johnson. And uh, as I said, the time travel concept, I absolutely loved it. I thought it was really fascinating. 
Um, J.K. Simmons is in it, and he he's always good in whatever he plays. Uh, the relationship between him and um, Chris Pratt's character, Forrester, uh, is very interesting. Movies about time travel always make you think. And that's one of the things I, I like about them, because you get your mind going, and you start thinking about, well, how is this... You know, there's always loopholes in time travel, because time travel is not a real thing, uh, and nobody knows what's going to happen. Is the... Um, timeline going to reform around the characters in the future so that they remember everything that this has happened or or I mean that they don't they don't know anything about what's happened uh, in the past and it just all just reforms or does it split off a separate timeline that's another theory a uh, pretty common theory um, which might be where some of the ideas of multiverse might come from from alternate timelines splitting off and creating these parallel worlds. So there's a lot of head turning and churning when it comes to time travel. I want to talk about Yvonne Strovsky. I'm not saying that right, and I apologize. She plays Pratt's wife in the, in the uh, story. Um, I was very pleased with her performance. There's been a lot of, a lot of talk about... Um, representation in this movie saying there's a lack of it or something and I'm sorry but I didn't see that it just happened to have uh, Chris Pratt as the lead who just happens to be a white guy um, there's plenty of women in the story with really good parts and there's plenty uh, <laughs> there's a um, one actor who's black who is probably my favorite character in the story uh, he's, he's used a lot for comic relief um, but uh, the comic relief in, in this is very real uh, feeling to me. Maybe not all of it, but certainly some points that are uh, funny are pretty real. Um, how somebody would actually react or feel or say in the particular situations that they happen to be in. So um, my final analysis, I would give it probably a 4 out of 5. Uh, or an 8 out of 10. Um, I think I did t out of 10 before, so I take off a little bit for uh, some of the... a little bit of predictability and maybe a little bit for um, some of the acting. Um, but I enjoyed it. I had fun watching it, watching it, and I really enjoyed the effects. I thought the aliens were interesting in their design. Um, I saw reviews saying there was nothing new in it, but I disagree with that because the con their time travel concept, I'd n I've never seen it before. So if it's something that everyone else has heard of and I'm just dumb, please let me know. Uh, it just was something I had not seen before. And uh, I'm not going to get into the details because I don't want to spoil it for you. I recommend watching it. It's really, really fun and enjoyable. And I think the whole family can get into it. Um, maybe not the really, really youngs cause, uh, because of the violence and the scary aliens. But uh, I think most of the family can enjoy it. Um, especially the teenage kids. I think they'll like it. 8 out of 10. Okay.